good morning or actually good early afternoon hope you guys are doing great today uh trying something new i might not post this video if it doesn't look good when i'm editing it but i guess since you're watching it i guess then i've posted it and it's okay basically so basically what i'm doing is i've realized that since i've been traveling especially through eastern europe and everything you know i've really wanted to interact with people and i've enjoyed it and i've done it a lot but the problem is coming sometimes with my camera the camera has actually it's the probably the first time that this has happened but the camera's actually affected me a little bit because you know here i am i already stand out enough as it is and i have this big vlogging camera with me all the time and that's been something that's just been like I gotta find a solution. My side camera, the one I'm using now, but I think this will be my main camera, and I've switched up a little bit of a, you guys can see here, and um, oh, by the way, I'm in Bratislava, Slovakia, if you guys have missed the last couple of days. Graffiti on the wall doesn't mean anything here. It still means it's a safe place. That's one thing that I've realized. Um, but back to what I'm doing with the camera is one thing I've changed on my camera is I've changed the angle so it's more of a wide angle. So I don't know if it's too annoying for you. You guys can let me know in the comments real quick. That'd be great. Um, but right now I am off to... Um But kind of on that note, right now I'm heading towards, uh, I realized that if I'm going to be in these countries a lot, you know, I got to start doing more things like the local people do. So I'm not necessarily here to see the touristy stuff, but really to kind of see what the local do. So that means interacting with a lot of local people. But on this note, kind of eating what the local people eat. I've realized the last month I've been doing a lot of reflecting, I realized that I'm not, I'm going to restaurants that a lot of the local people aren't going to and a lot of the habits I have aren't what the local people do. So on that note, I kind of found like a little pizzeria, small pizza place was real. Still halfway to, uh, oh, almost halfway to Old Town right now, and you see people are starting to kind of come out here. Old Town is just that way, which is where everyone is. But I'm just still shocked. And this is just, oh, by the way, this is the, this is like the White House equivalent um, of the president's house. In the president like lives here, and I, I talked about it, I think the other day. Crazy how you can just go right up to the fences and everything. Okay, so kind of make my way down here. Hopefully you guys still remember where I am. Old Town is that way. I'm heading to the places to eat over here. A uh, big thank you to the Fit Inn over there. Uh, they let me get a great workout in this morning. Very nice facility with a great view. You can really work out, run a treadmill, and look, overlook the city kind of. And it's just right up there. But uh, on that note, after that workout, I didn't get any food, so it is off to this. Oh, and I know you guys are always interested in the prices of things. This is kind of like a... Now, as most places outside of the center, I mean, outside of Old Town is always cheaper than once you go inside Old Town. The prices, once you arrive in Old Town, they usually go up 20%, maybe you could even say. and then they fold it on top of each other so it's like yeah really good um, but that pizza was awesome but then it is like a coffee shop yeah there's like so many like hidden places here cafe for you Hey, this is nice. This is kind of one reason why when you're kind of walking around, you walk around with your head up. You know, sometimes people just walk or you're on your GPS, like look around. I just saw, it just had a little sign there that said coffee for you. And it was a little alleyway. And I was like, okay, why not try it out? And now I come here and if I would have known about this place before, I would have been here like every day. I would have been here like every day working, but I always find on the last day. <laughs> Yeah. This is the name of the place if you guys come here. It's literally hidden like off of the of the main street. You would never guess. And then nobody's here because guess where everyone is at? 
Yes, Old Town. So not going into Old Town and coming here is better because there's less people here. You can chill and relax. Whereas if you went to Old Town, you can't even move, you can't even walk around. One little side coffee for you. So it's like, keep your head up. Keep your head up when you're walking around. Keep your head up in, in anything, but especially when you're walking around these little cities. Cause you find these little alleyways, I've been finding. More so here in Eastern Europe, I'm finding these alleyways are, are full, of, full of surprises. I think this is the alleyway from yesterday. If you guys remember, something so creepy like this, but has the whole market where I actually brought the socks that I'm wearing. Come Dila. Come Dila. I'm good. I know E. I just said bye. Because yeah? yes. I leave, I go tomorrow or yes, tomorrow night. Oh. Okay? But thank you so much. Yeah, I'm weird like that. I kind of really connect with people when I go to the room. I guess for me, what I think is really different that I do that maybe a lot of people don't, which might seem weird, was like if I go to a restaurant or I go to anywhere, I like I like to talk. It, it is a long line, of course not, but if not, I like to just talk to the people, see where are you from? What do you, what's the people have around here? I'm always asking questions, really curious to the people that I meet. And I guess it's that way that I build connections, kind of deep connections with people. And it's a good thing because you build deep connections with people, but it's a bad thing because when you're on the move and you're going all the time, you're like saying goodbye like a lot and that kind of, yeah, that just kind of. Uh, okay, so it's probably, I'm not even sure, maybe three, four hours later, kind of went to that park that's in between the president's house and the embassy. Was kind of chilling there, met an Australian. Hey, Becca, Chris, what's going on? How are you guys doing? Um, and kind of had a cool, cool that. Had a pretty cool discussion, kind of chilling, relaxing. And it kind of got me in that mood today where I feel like, you know, I think it's my last day, gonna look up some flights and everything. Uh, Bratislava, it's, it's really nice, I'm, even though I'm in this kind of, not the best area to end it. Um, but it's really small, we were talking about, you know, they booked three nights and they felt like it was too much. I've been here four nights, I believe, and I feel like that's a long time. Uh, especially if you're here to see things, you know, you can almost see everything in a day. Um, but kind of on that note, I feel like I'm gonna relax, try to see if I can maybe leave here a little bit early, not stay the full two extra days here, um, and try to get on and see other places if possible. But like I say, I it's nothing bad about here, but I just, you can see everything almost in a day. You know, I got here around 2 or 3 p.m. If I can tell you guys something, you can almost see everything here in a day. So I hope that kind of helped you guys out. I didn't really do too much, I know, but I don't know. I just sometimes go with my energy and it was more of a chill day. I also want to test out this camera, but I also want to say thank you guys so much for watching and your support and everything really means a lot to me. So thank you guys so much and I'll speak to you guys all later. And everyone always remember to work hard, be brave, and don't forget to smile. Ciao.